people are here because they need the help. Uh, they need a, a place to where they can be secure enough for a long enough period of, a t of time to be able to start working into the, getting back into the community. Greg Nelson is one of the many success stories to come out of this shelter, a disabled veteran who needed help getting back on his feet after troubled times. Many of the people who come to the Friendship Housing Center have similar situations. There are people that are needing to come into the shelter constantly. We're, we're turning people away because we're full, and when we have a bed, of course, we tell them to come in and, and we get them in the program. Right now, there are 33 people staying here, including 11 children. That number has only gone up in the last decade. But as the need has grown, the state funding hasn't. Over the last five years, grants have dropped by 60 percent. We've been struggling. I mean, it's been a conversation here in the office for a long time of what we can do. And, and we're always thinking of fundraising ideas and trying to get the community involved. And, and we're just at that point where it's not working as well as we need it to. So far, they have raised some money to help cover the basic costs. But to help pay for staff and utilities, they need 9000 by the end of next week. And to stay open through 2014, $150,000. It would take away a great benefit for this community. Most of the people that come out of this program that are successful become productive members of society within our own community here in Gaylord.